this from Amazon, actually. Good, baby. Thank you. I got this from Amazon. You look good, baby. Thank you. Hey. That shit is weird to me. I don't know how I feel about that. Hello, 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 Booktube World. It is I, Capri Nicole, and I'm back with another video. So we are about to fly out to our destination, which I'm not going to tell y'all until we get there. But I just wanted to start the vlog, say hello. I'm super excited. No work for 10 days. Yes. I'm really ready to go. I'm super excited. My sister's going to take us to the airport to save us like $50 with Uber. Don't know if I got time for that. I just wanted to start the vlog and let you guys know that it's time. Okay, comment below where you think we're going. I'll let you know when we land. I'll show you guys the Airbnb. I'm just super excited to bring you guys along with me. I've already picked out the books that I'm going to be reading for these vlogs. I'm going to split the vlog in two. I'm going to do the first five days that we're at our destination. Last five days that we're at our destination. Once we get to the Airbnb tonight, I'll let you guys know specifically what books I'm going to be reading for these vlogs. You guys picked romance and smutty books for this vlog. So, of course, I'm going to deliver. We got the airport fit. I'm sorry, when we're flying, I want to be comfortable as possible. I got the shorts. We got the shorts, we got the tank top. No panties, no bra on the flight, okay? Nobody has time for uncomfort, all right? I got my little hoodie, just in case. It gets a little nippy. Got the umbrellas, got all the dresses, the bathing suits. I'm gonna bring y'all so much content. I'm super excited. I just wanted to start the vlog. So I will see you guys once we get there. like a little mini mall. our airbnb i just wanted to show you guys around so this is where you come in at you got this cute my boyfriend in the background cute little mirror hello so this is the living room and then this is the kitchen area we are currently in puerto rico puerto rico Look at how cute, the little setup. We are so tired. Our flight got delayed twice, but all that matters is that we got here safely, landed safely, no bags are lost, no persons are harmed. Another mirror. Uh, cute little balcony. Look how cute. Very adorable little reading chair. So cute. It just feels it feels very homey. The guy that checked us in was so nice, and they gave us like coolers and like beach chairs, washer and dryers in here. Oh yeah, 
washer and dryers in here. My boyfriend's on the bed. Chill. Okay. So. <laughs> this is a little bedroom. Very cute. These people love mirrors. They got mirrors like three in every room. Another mirror. We got a big mirror right here. The towels and stuff are back there. All the beach towels, because I guess we're pretty close to a beach. Bathroom. It's a bathroom. Another mirror. Hello. It's very cozy and very cute. I just love this little setup. It's like, this is what a studio is supposed to look like. Them people that be trying to rip folks off, that them studios be half this size. Okay, or it's not like designed in a way that makes it be open like this just makes it feel open Like this whole area and then they have like the two big doors into the bedroom So we're gonna be staying here first like seven days and then the last three days. We're going to a different Airbnb Just wanted to show you guys Around before we hit the hay because we are both very tired So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh, and I got like 70% into my book so i'll i'll let talk to you guys tomorrow about what books i'm reading and updates on the books but right now your girl's tired okay good night see you tomorrow i want to show you guys my breakfast for day one it's like avocado toast but it looks like it's on some type of it looks like a waffle because it's really thick but i think it's really just bread but it looks really good I got a chai latte. I'll check in with you guys after I get dressed and I eat. Bye. Flash on the tour bus. So good, I shouldn't have to fall for free. Hey, I know where we can go. Mama, sit down. Yeah, we can keep it on the low. Oh. Yeah, we can keep it on the low. Oh. Let me pop it, baby be blowing up my line She know she got me, she know she got me. Saying I'm guapo all the time She know I'm cocky, she know I'm cocky She know she stay up on my mind Give me that sloppy It's over, it's over No, it's over Alright, what's up y'all? I think I've already said, but we are in Puerto Rico So we're safely here We just went grocery shopping Basically today just like a unplug chill day because you know after a flight you just want to relax so we're just kind of hanging out i wanted to update you guys on what i'm reading what i've read what i'm going to be reading for these vlogs first five days i picked three books and the last five days i picked another three books so you guys voted for me to read like smutty and romance books so i picked one romance book and two smutty books which actually works because they're shorter and when i'm on vacation i want to be on vacation and i'm with my man so it's like it's his birthday i don't want to just be reading the whole time so any pay any books that were like 300 pages was simply not happening so i'm kind of glad that you guys picked like smutty romance books because i could find something short so for the first five days i'm going to be reading a romance book called what a match so i'll put the little cover up here so you guys can see what it looks like the cover is so cute like it just gives off fall vibes i've already read one book by this author and i really really loved it i think it was make a scene so this is the second book and it's kind of like in a series but i don't think you need to read the first book to read the second one because they're not really connected other than the fact that this book follows the last book's love interest duncan his sister so this follows his sister her name is gwen and um she's 31 and she's just gotten out of a, like a three-year relationship so she's trying to get back on the dating scene and as you know the dating scene is a hot ass mess and so she's trying to do it in a way that works for her she kind of signed up for a dating i guess like a dating site like a matchmaker basically so you do all these tests and you answer all these questions basically pair you up with people that you would be compatible with the other character his name is anthony and he is the best friend of her brother both anthony and her brother own a gym a boxing gym and basically in the beginning of the book he ends up finding out that there's no heating in his apartment so his landlord basically asks them to find somewhere else to stay for the next month and a half 
because it's illegal for him to permit them to live there when there's no heat because someone could obviously freeze and die so he's trying to find somewhere to stay he ends up staying with duncan it does not work out so duncan basically asks his sister gwen hey can tony stay with you so now tony's sleeping on her couch and the crazy thing is for like since he's met her he's had a crush on her but he never told her because she's always had a boyfriend so obviously she was in a three-year relationship she wasn't looking for nobody but now she's single but he still hasn't said anything because he's very quiet i read this book on the plane so i'm like 70 i want to say like 72 percent into it so i'm almost done i'll probably finish it today but i'm loving it so 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 much it's just so precious tony kind of puts me in the mind of like if you've read any sarah j masses books the character asriel the one that's in charge like not in charge but he controls like shadows and he's very quiet and he's very to himself the main character tony reminds me of him i don't know why but it's just something about how like silent he is but he just does these small little things for her without saying anything like she signed up for the matchmaker thing she's going on these dates and she came in from a date that did not go well so she ended up like chugging like two glasses of wine and they ended up chit chatting because obviously she's staying on her, he's staying on her couch so she mentioned like oh i'll probably end up having a headache in the morning but it was well worth it to drink this wine he's been like leaving really early because he's trying to have as little contact with her as possible because he doesn't want to get in the way so he ended up leaving like breakfast on the counter and like medicine for her just in case she had a headache and he put like a little sticky note saying like oh for the headache or whatever so like he doesn't really talk that much but he's just so sweet and like in the book they kind of explore and ex and explain why he's so silenced in a way based off of like his childhood the way that he was brought up and it just uh it just makes me like him more like he's so precious he's so cute and he's very broody but like gwen is also with the shits like she's not a bubbly character i thought she was going to be the grumpy one in this book because she is kind of like a grump and at one point she ended up punching him in the face but that's near the here nor there you have to read the book to know what what actually happened she's kind of like a grump and she got a little attitude and she's like an older main character i love older main characters in books because everybody's not 19 child like simply we are not i'm really enjoying it because she's single and she's going on these dates she keeps having like these small interactions with him and they're just oh they're just so precious so that's what i'm reading for the romance and then for the other two books i picked what you've been missing which is like 250 pages and this is like a smutty book there is no description on goodreads for this book which i kind of like because i have not been reading a synopsis lately because i just want to go into the book not knowing anything so i can just fill everything out on my own and explore the book on my own without being told what's happening because sometimes they just give too much away okay what you've been missing there's no description but i know it's like 250 pages i saw an excerpt of one of the sex scenes on instagram and i was like i'm gonna need to read that i think i saw it on shades and pages instagram so if you don't follow her you don't know what her page is please go check it out she makes really good content and gives really good recommendations for like romance books and stuff when i opened my kindle i was trying to see like how many pages or whatever but it was like a little bit of a explanation about what the book is let me see if i can read it to y'all okay so she said this book was inspired by second chances as well as acts of love acts of service goes hand in hand but often hits harder than the words of affirmation alone people can tell you anything they can fill your head with pretty lies but their actions beyond those words will always reveal their true intentions it also explores the idea of timing make time for what you want and what you need learning that love has its own timing that doesn't follow any rules nor is it ever practical so it's like a little description in the beginning of it but that's all i know from it and then the sex thing which is why i picked it up so and then the third and final book will be stiff which is just i think it's just straight sex all porn just vibes you know what i'm saying like there's no plot i don't think there's much going on there i've read i think three other books by this author which follows like this group of brothers i think there's like six tuplets but it follows them and who they fall in love with or whatever and her sex scenes were a one so i'm trying to see what, what we talking about over here ashley told me to read this book too we did our live show so i picked it up it's only it's under 100 pages it's like 92 pages and it basically follows these group of girls who want to have like a girls night out but they end up going to this club called the den and the den ends up being like a sex party club so that's what this follows i don't think there's any pot so we're gonna see how that goes but i have it downloaded so those are three books i'm going to be reading for the first five days they're all short yes 
And then I also brought the book that I told y'all about in my last vlog, which is Cold Retribution, a book that an author sent me, which follows these twins who are both in love with the same girl. So if I ever have a chance to sit down and physically read, then I'll probably pick this one up. But yeah, that's it. So I've updated you guys on what I'm gonna be reading, what I've read. Right now, what a match. I'm really, really enjoying it. And when I'm thinking about the scenes and stuff like that, cause I have like the pictures in my head, I just see it as like a cartoon. It's probably because of the cover, but like, it would be so cool if this was like a cartoon on TV, like an adult like cartoon. It would just be so cute. But yeah, I'm definitely picturing all the characters as like cartoon characters based off of the books. I feel like it's gonna be like a four star. I'm not gonna say five star because y'all already know every time I say it's gonna be a five star, I end up hating the damn book. But we're more than halfway through. So I feel like unless something stupid happens in the end, we good, we good over here. So that's it. That's all I have to update you guys on. Tomorrow we're going on an excursion. I might take you guys with me. It's been raining off and on here, but tomorrow is supposedly going to be sunny, which is good because that's my boyfriend's birthday. So we want the sun to come out, all right? So hopefully it doesn't rain. I'll take you guys with me and try to get some shots here and there, but I'm not trying to get the camera wet at all. We don't want no wet camera, but I'm going to do what I can. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next clip or the next update or whatever. Until then, bye. friend's birthday and this is the music that he listens to listen <laughs> he's an old man oh my god y'all don't see me look crazy before so i'm about to clean and then get dressed there's a food court area about a mile away luckily this airbnb there is so much around us to do within walking distance there's a beach that's like a mile away there's a whole plaza of food trucks over there as well today we have an excursion so we're just gonna go and try some snacks and then the excursion starts in the evening i think it's at like four o'clock his music is kind of loud <laughs> Hopefully you guys can hear me. I know there's a little heater out here. Just finished one book. I finished What a Match and it was just, it's four stars. I'm just saying it's four stars. I already told you guys what it was about, how I was feeling about it. I forgot to say that there's also a heavy like family aspect in this book. Like found family, friendships, sibling relationships. It's just very wholesome like it's a very wholesome book and there's gonna be a third book that follows her best friend so I'm excited for the series to continue I also didn't realize this author is the author that wrote along for the ride which is also on my TBR but I really enjoy her writing so far I have a five star from her and a four star from her so it's looking good so the next thing I'm going to read is the two short smutty books which I will probably start tomorrow but yeah so I'm gonna get dressed 
to get dressed so we can head to the food truck area. I wanted to go to the beach today. I don't know if that's going to happen because we have to make sure we get ready for the, the excursion. I think that's going to be like three hours. But yeah, I'm going to take you guys with me because it's beautiful today. Like I said yesterday, it's been raining on and off. So I just want to make sure I protect my camera. But I want to make sure I get you guys some footage too. So yeah, I'll probably take you guys with me. All right. Look at the views. Look at how pretty. Look at how pretty it looks today. It looks so nice. I was out here reading earlier, but yeah, let's go back into the house and get some cleaning done. This is what the little porch looks like. I think I've already showed you guys this, but got the plants, got a little sitting area, a little picture. Get dressed. Yeah. Hello, everyone. All the food trucks are just inside. Well, I guess we have to wait though, because it's ooh, pretty. It's not, not quite 12 yet. Almost though. at the food truck place so we just ordered ice cream i'm trying to make sure my top doesn't fall down because it's not not the most secure top we're gonna eat that first because that's just gonna melt quickly it's hot as hell out here okay bye i got the tefli you already knew you already know guys my little ice cream I got mango ice cream, I put strawberries in it, and fruity pebbles, and it has the, I think it's taught taiyaki, taiyaka, whatever the hell, cone. Super cute. Let me eat it before it melts. Wow, look at that. I got stuffed avocado, you guys, with shoestring fries on top. That shit look crazy. What'd you get, baby? I got some rice and beans with the chicken, a little bit of coleslaw, I got some mafungo on the way down. Wow, look at that. <laughs> So, I do a quick outfit change. That other dress got sweated out when we went to get food from the food truck. But I got this little flowy dress. The back is very cute. Got a little slit in the side. Got the spandex ready to go. And I'm probably gonna wear sneakers because it's like a walking food tour. Let me put you guys up here. All right, yeah, so we're getting ready to go. It's a walking food tour. Some of the places they said that we might need to wear a mask, so we're gonna stop at CVS, grab a mask, and then we're gonna head to the meetup spot for the excursion. I'm super excited, I'm ready to eat. I'm glad that it's a little bit later in the day. I thought it would be cooler, but it's looking like it's still gonna be hot outside, but it's okay. We have sunscreen, we'll have water. It'll all be good. I'll take you guys with me. See you there. Y'all a little foggy, but it's okay. Yeah. All right, we just got to this little location. We're about to leave in a little bit to go on the food tour. So I'm super excited. Food and drink. Food and drink, so I'm, I'm ready to drink, child. I'm ready to drink some alcoholic beverages. Uh, 
call me pop. Baby be blowing up my line. She know she got me. She know she got me. Saying I'm guapo all the time. She know I'm cocky. She know I'm cocky. She know she stay up on my mind. Give me that sloppy. Oh, it's over. Oh, it's over. No, it's over. No, it's over. When she drop it to the ground, bend it over. She got that drink. She got the loud. She got that soul. Alright y'all, I've started another book and here's what my boyfriend's listening to today. <laughs> I'm filming. Okay, I want to show you guys. I want to show you guys the fit. I got this from Amazon, actually. Thank you. I got this from Amazon. Thank you. And it was inexpensive. I'm so. in love with your fit, baby. Thank you, baby. So if any if any of you want the links to anything that I have, I will I do. Of course <laughs> provide. But I just wanted to show you guys the outfit because it was super cute. The little strap across. Cause they be having dresses like this at other places, but they be like eighty dollars and don't nobody got time for that. How much are they at Amazon, baby? Like twenty dollars. My like twenty dollars. So where do I go to get them, baby? <sighs> baby, Amazon. Okay. okay, I have the link. So okay. if you guys want it, let me know. I it's not like an affiliate link or anything like that. I just want to make sure everybody can ball on a budget. You know what I'm saying? Okay, we're going out to eat. We're going to a cafe. We're going to this brunch place. So I'll take you guys. The restaurant's pretty cool. The wall we're sitting at it has like this. I would have wanted to sit in there because if you guys could see it's like books in the background Super cool, but it's a cute cute little restaurant Look you guys look it Look how cool Wow Look at that Very cool that's how I get to focus. Very cool. And mine. <laughs> Where is it? Mine's just more simple than his. How he get his first? Salmon croissant. Alright y'all, angle is questionable. Just got back from brunch. Well, we've been at for a while actually. And we've both been just been hanging out. So I started reading Stiff. And I'm 65% in. <sighs> Basically, I don't know how I made this mistake. But when I wrote my notes, I put down that it was 90 pages. I don't know where on Goodreads I saw that it was 90 pages. Because I usually just swipe to i think swipe left and i can see like the page count on goodreads but this shit is 206 pages so it's longer than what i put in my notes and what i thought it was going to be and even on goodreads it says like 180 pages or something like that which is still off so i think that's everywhere is just wrong but on my kindle it's saying 206 pages i don't know I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know why, how I messed that up. But anyway, 65% in. Stiff basically follows this girl. Her name is Asia. And she's basically like, she's like a square. She just goes to work. She does everything exactly how she's supposed to do it. Her friends are like, girl, you need to zhuzh it up. Like, you need to do something. We're bored with your life for you. So they tell her about this place called The Den. And she ends up going there. And it's actually really cool because they give you, um, like, this tablet that lights up the floor and goes to different rooms. And you go to each room and you get to pick which one is, like, your vibe. And then once you pick your room, 
you have to go on the menu and on the menu it has like these different options. oh i have my uh, productivity app going y'all already know how i do i got three trees i got a new tree it's a watermelon tree so yeah i was reading for like an hour and a half i started falling asleep because i was in the bed but we got some good good amount of reading done all right, so on the menu, it says, like, choose your activity. And the activity options are entertainment, hands-only, foreplay, virtual reality, appetizer sampler, and Kama Sutra. So 65% in, she's already done two of these things. And Kama Sutra, obviously, is, like, the person that you're having sex with, whichever position they choose from Kama Sutra, that's what you're going to end up doing. The appetizer sampler... I couldn't do it it was like it basically is like having sex until you're on the verge of having an orgasm but you can't have an orgasm simply no I don't want to do it and then the second screen says choose your lover it's at a strip club so the entertainer I guess would be whoever comes into the room blind date would be I guess they would send you someone at random and then the gladiator is basically the person they're kind of like a bodyguard they meet you when you first come into the den and they bring you to the room and the gladiators they're masks they have a mask they have like a what is that called like like the egyptian pharaoh mask they have like half of their face covered so that's the gladiator and basically asia goes there on her first night her first time she goes by herself the entertainer comes in and she not feeling him she like mm -mm, i don't want him can i get the guy that's like showing me around so she asked the host if she can get the guy that's showing her around they said yeah you would pick like the gladiator or whatever so she ends up sleeping with him and she names him kane because she doesn't know his name he can only speak when she tells him to speak so basically they like the woman's like in control of the situation and you have to give the okay before they do anything it's kind of cool i like it it's kind of cool but like i don't know what it is now it's time for me to give my opinion i don't know what it is it's something about her writing it just feels because i've read either two or three other books by the same author and her writing and her characters it's something about it it just feels a little bit robotic like the way she describes something that they're doing or the way that she describes the way that the character is moving around i don't know what it is it just seems robotic in a way and she also does a lot of like name brand drops like oh rolls royce iphone cartier i hate name brand dropping in books i i really do it kind of just throws me off it's just like why is that necessary like obviously you want to show status but you can show that he's rich without giving me all these brand names anyway she ends up sleeping with him it's all right like i was feeling it but i felt like i don't know i feel like the sex scenes happen so quick it was kind of like a build up slash anticipation like when she first got to the club you're kind of just like waiting to see what happens and you're wondering like how she's gonna enjoy it and stuff like that but like the sex thing happened so damn quick i'm just like bruh it just was it was hot but it was like it was i i guess i mean it was good but mm, okay and then like they ended up having sex again and I don't know if this would be considered a spoiler but okay i'm gonna just put up on the screen spoiler so if you don't if you're interested in reading this book and you don't want to know anything about it then you can skip the part that says spoiler but i don't know if you guys would consider this a spoiler but i don't want to ruin it for anyone if they want to go into it not knowing much <laughs> he actually knows her they went to high school together and he basically was like the nerd of high school and she was like the popular girl and she always was like pair up with him whenever they had projects and stuff like that so they were cool and she was nice to him and so as soon as she he saw her at the den he knew who she was but she didn't know who he was because he has a mask on after they had sex he showed up to her job and asked her to go on a date and she still doesn't know who he is but he did say like oh we went to high school together i just basically glowed up i stayed in the gym blah 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 whatever so he's like this big six five fine dude now and so 
she just like okay so she wanted to date with him but i don't know it's something about that it's something about that i don't like like i feel like if he was unattractive the shit would not be okay but because he's fine it's okay like if you go to like a sex club and you sign confidential paperwork and all this stuff and you don't want to know people don't know who your identity is and you're separating it and someone shows up at your place of work that shit is weird to me i don't know how i feel about that but i know it's just supposed to be like a good time i don't want to read too deeply into it just i'm just gonna mark it as like a trashy smutty read but personally if show up to my job well i'm not going on a date with him i don't like i know they went to high school and everything together but that shit is so weird to me like you he knew who she was and now he's just like oh i want to take her out i want to get to know her more blah 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 whatever which is like all right but i don't know it's something about that that i don't like and it's throwing me off so basically we're at this like straddling of him knowing her and gone on a date with her but then her also still going to the sex club because she likes the guy she's sleeping with who basically is him so eric is the guy and kane is like his alter ego in the sex club so she's still going to the sex club and you're basically like sh hidden identity like trope you know what i'm saying so it's kind of like that i don't know i just don't like that he went to her job i really just don't like that i think that shit is weird but I'm going to finish it. I'll let you guys know how I feel in the end. And I've already been talking for 10 minutes. So we're going to wrap this up. <laughs> okay, I think it's focused. All right. So you guys... I am on page 69 of the third book, which is What You've Been Missing. Yeah, What You've Been Missing. Um, yeah, I'm on page 69. <laughs> so I feel like this is a good place to stop. I really could finish this tonight, but we have an early day tomorrow. And I want to make sure I get this vlog up for you guys tomorrow afternoon. So I just figured I should stop here, update the vlog, close it. And then the second part of the vlog, I'll probably wrap up whatever I have to say about this. But right now I am 27% in and I'm enjoying it for the most. Basically it's following the main character and her name is India. So it's following the main character, her name is India. Uh, she was in a relationship with a rapper and she had a kid with him and he really is a shitbag and she just don't want to deal with him anymore. So she's kind of like taking her life back. She's also a songwriter and the reason that her ex is so popular and famous, she wrote all of his songs. But now she's writing with other artists and she's kind of doing her own thing. So she's staying at this condo that is her sister's boyfriend's place but he kind of rents it out he doesn't use it anymore so she's staying there so that she can work with this artist and she ends up meeting the neighbor that works there his name is ray and he's like an older guy she's older as well i think she's 35 and he's 40 so we got a little salt and pepper salt and pepper bay they're interested in each other they're all kind of in the same industry he did a lot of investments and real estate and he just opened a new nightclub so they ended up meeting there and like as soon as they met they were smashing like there was no <laughs> there was no build up it was just like he was walking around the club because it was the opening night for his club or whatever and then he saw her and it was like instant where they just like were like let's go so i guess like the club has like different levels and like the fifth level he made it into like basically like a little mini apartment for him whenever he would be at the club and wouldn't want to go back home or would be too tired or he drank or whatever he would be able to crash there so they end up going upstairs into his little loft area in the club i guess like one of her fantasies was to i guess basically get a lap dance or see a stripper dance which i guess she never had that happen before so just one of her fantasies so i guess basically she just 
as I said, she's taking her life back. So one of the strippers comes. He lets her dance for India. And then him and India, you know, hot and heavy. Got the drinks, got the music. They had already been dancing and talking for most of the night. So they kind of were already like, let's get to it. So they got to it. And the sex scenes are actually pretty good. The sex scenes are pretty good. We love a little older romance, you know what I'm saying? But there's a pet name in here. <laughs> There's a pet name in here. He calls her, he's calling her Lil Baby. And every time he calls her Lil Baby, I just think of the rapper and it's just throwing me off. But other than that, it's, it's nothing wrong with the book. It's just that pet name is really throwing me off. I wish he would just call her Baby or something because Lil Baby is really making me think of the rapper and it's truly, truly throwing me off. But for the most part, I'm enjoying it. I figure I keep reading. I just want to get this vlog export it and up for you guys so that i can start i've already started part two but i'll have part two ready to go in the next three books the only reason i'm behind one book is because one of those books i thought was 90 pages and it was like two, over 200 pages but it's okay we move so yeah i just wanted to close out the vlog i hope you guys enjoyed it um i'm excited i really like how the footage came out let me know if you guys enjoyed it there will be a part two i've already started it and I'll let you guys know what three books or two books or whatever I'm going to be reading in that vlog. Uh, I'll do my best to make sure I finish those books. But as I said, I'm on vacation. You know what I'm saying? So I'm on vacation. I'm trying to make sure I enjoy my vacation too. I feel like I had a really good balance up until that 200 page thing happened. I was with a good flow. I had a good flow with the editing, with the reading, and with enjoying my vacation. But then as soon as I messed up with the page count for that last book, it was all downhill from there but it's okay i'm just gonna close the vlog out here right now i'm not far enough into the book to really say much about it but i just want to give you guys an update on the third and final book thank you guys so much for watching stay tuned for next week which will be the part two of the hot girl reading vlog i hope you guys enjoy these little travel reading vlogs if you have any books that you want me to read in the future please leave them in the comment section below if you've made it to the end of this video please leave a island emoji or a Puerto Rico flag emoji in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Always remember, read a book, keep your life interesting, and I will see you in part two. Bye.